Hi there, students. Vapid. Okay, an adjective. Vapidly, the adverb. And let's see. Um, vapidity as a noun, but also you could have vapidness as well. Okay, if we describe something as vapid, it means it has no imagination, no intelligence. It's not original. It's dull and boring. It's got no oomph, no zest. So, yeah, think about all the vapid uh, reality shows that we uh, can see on TV. Yeah, um, he, the, uh, his uh, conversation is so vapid that uh, I get bored al almost instantaneously. Yeah, so you're saying some, if you call something vapid, you're calling it dull and uninteresting. Yeah, um, he's always making vapid comments about the weather. Yeah, so insipid, flat, without this lust for life, as uh, Billy Idol might put it. Okay, so it doesn't have any strength, any sharpness. Yeah, it's just lifeless. Um, originally, this they used to use this word for flavours, yeah. But nowadays, I think we use it more for la the idea of lacking originality, lacking of thought. It's more talking about uh, ideas and conversations and plots, yeah. So uh, the vapid plots that uh, Hollywood churns out time after time. OK, so it's something that's uh, just not lively, yeah? You could describe it that your tea, this tea is very vapid, or this beer is very vapid. Um, it's tasteless, it doesn't have any zing to it. But I think using it for flavours is much more uncommon nowadays, yeah? Vapid, a vapid conversation, a vapid comedy, um, a vapid person. Okay, so dull, boring, insipid, uninspiring. Jejun, that's a good word, that's not vapid at all. Insipid, um, uninteresting, yeah? Just weak and uh, not, not full of excitement. So, it's my uh, obligation to try and not make these videos too vapid, yeah, to try and fill them with something that is thought-provoking. I think that's very clearly a good uh, opposite of vapid, yeah, something that's not, that doesn't stimulate the mind. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of uh, many of the uh, vapid cat videos that uh, are so successful in uh, social media. Okay, so vapid, this is a, a really good one to use. Dull, lifeless. They talked vapidly uh, for half an hour, chatting over the uh, fence. Yeah, the vapidity of their conversation bored me to tears. Yeah, its very vapidness uh, was uh, evident from the uh, very beginning. Okay, so vapidness is not a good quality to have. Yeah, well, maybe uh, most British conversations start with the vapid bit of how do you do nice day, isn't it? Yeah, it probably takes several years to get past the uh, <laughs> va past the vapidity before uh, you can actually talk to someone. Yeah, the British can be quite difficult like that. Okay, so vapid wi without life. Yeah, it's just something that's totally lifeless. Okay, now, formality. I was thinking about this. This word, it does sound rather literary. I'm going to give it a 6.5. I think you could just about use it in an informal conversation, um, although it would be an unusual choice, and maybe some people wouldn't understand it, but you could try it in a semi-form conversation, definitely. In uh, an exam writing, a brilliant word. In an essay, an absolutely brilliant word to use as well. Yeah, um, it, it will make your essay sound less vapid, even if you can't think of any ideas for it. 
And then as to origin, this word comes directly from Latin, from vapidus, meaning vapid or flat, but with meaning without life, not just flat as in uh, without curves or, or movement. Yeah. So vapid, it's something that's vapid. It offers nothing that is stimulating, nothing challenging. Yeah, it's lifeless, it's banal, it's dull, it's and then you can also use it for flavours that are tasteless, bland or insipid. So enough, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Vapid, vapidly, vapidity, vapidness.